Right, for those who are snuck in too early, you're right. Yeah, you must, I don't know how you saw that. I hope you can hear me and all that. I haven't been on for a while, so I keep thinking I've forgotten something. That's not hung up properly, but it's good enough for now. So, hello, Zed. You're right, Bristol. Can you hear me, all right? Bristol said, Mike needs a Rambo headband. You couldn't see me putting that up, could you? It looks all right, though, don't it? But, you know, it's as I say, it's not hung up properly. I've just done that spur of the moment thing. You're right, Dan. Oh, you can hear me, I was going to say. I was just about to type that. Yeah, it feels weird coming back. But yeah, that will be sorted out properly. I just thought I'd put it up like that just for today. So we got on Zed, Star, Glenn, Will, Dan, Nell, Sam, Jennifer. You are right? That was your Christmas then. Mine was all right. I don't say it's a bit... I don't know why it feels a bit weird doing these this, this again. I've been off for so long. You are right, Rich? Yeah, I'll I'll hang it up properly eventually. It's um, and I may have to, I may have to sort out the um, picture, but that looks all right, doesn't it? That that is literally just whacked up there. But I must admit that's come out good. That is actually the right size. Right, Stu. Um, yeah. See if there's any um. Yeah, it looks right, don't it, Stu? Yeah. I'll hang it up properly eventually. What I'm going to do, I'm going to get a rail thing. I might get a curtain pole, have it as a curtain sort of thing. I'll do something, and then what I'll do is I'll take down that crossbow and that one so it sits flatter down. But, yeah, at the minute, it's just hooked over each thing. And I will get the banner. I've done. I've made a banner for that one now. It's just buying it. I've got the Patreon money. I've paid out my Patreon money, so I could buy that soon. Daniel said, uh, I've just had a very sore head for the past two weeks. Yes, so have I. So to be honest, I'm glad to get off the fucking booze. <laughs> Been having so much of it. Yeah, no, it's good to be back. It's good to see everyone. Tactical Pirate said, Waddles into the room, says Happy New Year, and bumps into the door on the way out. What's that, your old gout? I hope you're... Was that you who's getting the old gout coming back, Tactical? I thought mine was coming back the other day because all the fucking drink. But yeah, luckily it's um it wasn't. Jennifer said I had a good Christmas, thanks. Probably drank too much. I did. I drank that one and a half liters of vodka in two nights. Uh yeah, and kept getting extremely drunk basically. <laughs> but yeah. I am the type of you right, mate. Then then said best present night. You know, I don't know. Um I don't know. I got pretty much everything I asked for. I'll be honest with you, Len. I was happy with everything. Um, weirdly, though, the one thing I probably wanted the most was the two things I wanted the most. It'll sound a bit odd. Wow. Yeah. I don't know. The clippers are very, very handy. But I did, for, I did want that quite badly. <laughs> I don't know why. Yeah, a Blu-ray. Probably my favourite one. No, I don't know. It's hard, isn't it? But yeah, that's what I wanted. The CB project said, all right, lads, what we saying about World War Three then? Well, hopefully there ain't going to be one. <laughs> yes, Happy New Year, everyone. But yeah, I'll sort that out properly. I'll just quickly put that up just before the um, stream started. I will sort it out properly. But if you notice, that crossbow actually sits like perfectly where it should. And so would that one. Yeah, it came out all right in the end. They're actually, I've measured up the guns, and they are pretty much exactly the right size. That's only a pure fluke that did that. It just happened that that banner happens to be the same width as my gun board. And because I did the border at the bottom and the top, it just worked out perfectly that they would be the actual real size. Richard Kent, he said, uh, driving to deer camp last week of archery season. We'll be watching on the way. A oh, nice one, Rich. Yep, all right. You uh, have a good time and shoot plenty. Bob, you're right, Bob. I put your name on there, by the way, Bob. 
Heen as you support me on um, the Amazon links and Iron Man. And anyone else, if they mention that they do, can go on there. As I might have to watch Zed, uh, put Zed on there. Do you know what, Zed? I didn't watch the Great Escape. Do you know what? I hardly watched anything. Um, I did watch... Uh, nothing to do with that, but I did watch um, Guardians of the Galaxy 2, Volume 2. I'll tell you what, I really like them films. Stu said, I still need to watch Midsummer. Keep meaning to them forgetting. I'll tell you what, uh, Stu, I think it's excellent. And that Blu-ray has got a like 100 and... I would recommend... Right, the blue ray the blue ray has got a director's cut on it. But I would actually I would actually recommend watching the theatrical version first. Because I think although the director's cut's really good, it has some added stuff in it that sort of gives stuff away. Um I think that the theatrical version is probably better for the suspense and mystery. Then if you liked it a lot, watch the director's cut, then you get to see about twenty seven extra minutes in it. Right, where am I? Bob said, thank you, Mike. Len said, can't be a good war <laughs> to take the mind off politics and the state of the country. That's it. Turn out and watch the bombings. That way. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Where am I? Richard. You right, Rich? He said, I was reading that Twitter message Liam posted showing the gamma radiation. Crazy to think. If you had all that radioactive stuff on you for a month, it would be lethal. It's mad, really, isn't it, Rich? You know, it's, it's shocking as well. Yeah, surprising what that, what it can do. Tactical said, I had a great New Year's Eve. Loads of fights in the pub I was in. Piss heads. Uh, what a way to see the New Year in, for fuck's sake. I didn't see none of that, luckily. I've had enough of that kind of stuff now. <laughs> I had a good New Year's. I can't remember. After we went outside watched the fireworks, I can't remember anymore. I vaguely remember the lights being on in there, um, talking to people. Can't remember walking home, but I can remember getting to my house. If we were going to go into Wendy house, and then when I got back, there was no one here. So I just went, ah, fuck it. Told the bloke I was with, so March will go home. <laughs> then I just fucking came in here. But I ended up sitting in here, drinking, listening to music till eight in the morning. So, yeah. That wasn't good. It was good, but, you know, not good for your health, I doubt. I am the type said, do you own any bayonets? No. Well, i got one. That one there. See on that, um, see on the Chinese Model 86S ballpark rifle? That happens to be the only bayonet I own. Um, I'm pretty sure I don't have any other bayonets. Tactical Pirate said, wasn't me, by the way. I did laugh my head off at a lad on the floor, passed out, and then claiming to door staff he wasn't drunk. Yeah, that's like so. <laughs> there was quite a few people where I was who was pissed like that. Then said any New Year's resolutions, but not really, not not nothing different to what I normally always try to do, which is get more healthy. But yeah, that I'm always trying to do anyway. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, so not really. Drink less, I suppose. No, I don't know. I don't know. But no, I'm not anything specific really then other than, yeah, get lose weight get fitter but that's something i'm trying i've been trying to do for years anyway you know what i mean zed said well i've had a great start to the year went to the quacks today seemed i may have early stage arthritis in my right shoulder and a bit of it is wearing out ah fuck that yeah that's sorry to hear i went to the hospital today for an appointment about my ear about having the operation on it and was told to not bother that they'll just monitor monitor it now i went to like a second specialist consultant who said um, it it's probably better just to leave it. If it actually, because the thing is, it's there's no nothing saying it's definitely going to get worse. It's just because I'm young, it it probably will sort of thing. Um, so they're just going to monitor it now, and if it gets worse, do an operation. Right, Carl, good to see you on, mate. I haven't been on for fucking about ten days, I don't think. 
Yeah, good to see you, Wonka. Yeah, that's, that's a shame, um, Zed. Jasmine, right, Jan? Good to see you, on. I was just saying I haven't been on for ages, so, yeah, it's nice to see everyone on. Then said, did you get a taste of Matt's squirrel? Looked good. Do you know what, man? It's been a, quite an odd Christmas. The reason I didn't live stream, you saying that, the reason I didn't live stream Christmas Day or any time around Christmas, Matt could hardly hear. He was here for a little bit Christmas Day, not as much as he normally was. Um, wasn't He wasn't drinking anything. So that's sort of, I didn't want to be getting pissed on a live stream while well, he wasn't, you know what I mean? Because it would make him want to um, drink. So, yeah, that's why that didn't happen. Yeah. No, I didn't get no squirrel or anything. Zed said, just to, to now, I wasn't I wasn't what you could call overjoyed, I must admit. Well, I suppose at least you know, Zed, so you could potentially try and counteract it early on. You know what I mean? You're right, Preston. And by the way, if anyone's come on and I haven't said hello, sorry. Just say hello again. Prepared Norseman. You're right, mate. I'm the type said go I'm going again, but still wish you the best till next time. Thank you, I am the typer. Same to you, mate. Yeah, happy new year. I said been out and about in the fresh air with the good weather. I saw your I didn't get to watch your video today, Carl, but I did see you'd put a video on today. If you misses. I didn't get a chance to watch it though. I will watch it. I'll probably watch it after this. Yeah. People were asking me what my favourite present was. What was yours? Yeah, weirdly enough, probably probably them two. <laughs> I wanted that quite badly on Blu-ray. Because it's quite a... Um, that's worth watching in HD, put it that way. I think Jumbo Sabu would agree with me there. Carl says, stop smoking. I'm a week... Um, yeah, week four. In, a f fucking good on you, Carl. Funny thing is, my... Um, Loads of people in my family have just given up smoking. And I was just literally talking to them about it two minutes ago. But I gave up smoking at the age of, I think, 26, I think. I can't actually remember when I gave up. I gave up about the age of 26 after smoking since the age of 12. Um, yeah. And I'll never fucking, I'd never ever smoke now. I mean, good on you, Carl. And anyone giving up smoking. Tactical, it's all your videos, Carl. Lol at Deborah, the Explorer. Prepared Norseman said, should I have a look at my latest James Bond video. I think you would enjoy it. I've seen I've seen that was on as well. Prepared Norseman. I will watch that, mate. Then it's a Henry de Hoover for you. What that was your favourite? Uh <laughs> Tim, you're right, mate. Good to see you on. Liam, you're right. Yep, happy new year. Weapons after the evening all. Turns out the radon levels in our house are safe. <laughs> but the high end are safe. Fuck's sake. Now, I'll watch that after this, um, Carl. Not a lot on tonight. A lot of people chatting, which is good, though. You know, I don't care if there's not a lot on. As long as there's a lot of people chatting. Yeah, I've put the banner up. Not properly. I don't know how it looks on video. It should well, I can see what it looks. It looks all right. Um, but yeah, I'm, I've bought a, a rail for it. That's just hung up. I've just hooked it over the crossbow hooks, basically. So it's not really up properly. Not how I'd want it. But I'm going to have to sort that out. It looks all right, though, don't it? It would look better if maybe I cut. I don't want to do it, though. Cut a little slit in and then put that through it. Not that, that. When I point like that, I'm pointing at the wrong place. Where am I? Dead said to now, still. It still works, so that's something. I'll get some gel stuff to put on it. Not so bad as a mate of mine. Poor bugger has a pulmonary embolism a couple of months ago. Fuck's sake. Yeah. He survived, but he was on blood thinners for the rest of his life. There's no more booze for him ever again. Fuck's sake. Yeah. But that's partly why I want to get a bit more healthy nowadays. If you do it when you're young enough, it it's like you never had it, and it sort of thing. Damn, said honestly, didn't notice the banner at first. No, that's good. That's good. In the thumbnail, it's not on there. 
I've I've made a banner for this as well, which I'll have to buy soon. Riggs, you right, mate? Good to see you on. Um, Stu said, have you got a multi-region DVD player, Mike? Can be a good way to get rare films if they're only released in certain countries. Actually, I do, and I've done exactly that, Stu. Yeah, I've got a couple of um, quite rare DVDs that you can't get, you know, as you say, only done in certain countries. Yeah, I years and years and years and years and years ago, I bought a quite expensive Sony DVD player, and then I bought this DVD magazine that had all the secret codes for a lot of DVD. A lot of DVD players have, like, a secret code put in, and you can do region free. As in F R E E, um, you know what I mean. This is I say free. I say I say it's free, and you can have three of them. <laughs> exactly the same. But yeah, no, yeah, that's good. Isn't it? I've got what's the ones I've got? I've got some series of series, not series, um, region one DVDs of the TV show Oz. You know the prison film, prison show Oz, uh, region one. And a couple of Stephen King films I couldn't get anywhere, apart from in weird regions. Richard said, I need to get in a better shape as well, Mike. You're going to laugh at this, but I could deadlift more back when I was 15 and only nine stone when I can now. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it, Rich? But, yeah, it's worth, get, it's worth getting healthy and fit. I'm going to. Like I was, you know, I've lost a bit. I've put a little bit of weight back on, but I'm still, like, at least one and a half stone lighter than I was at one point. <coughs> you don't notice it when you like it. And then when you look, I look back at some of my videos and I'm like, fucking hell. I didn't realize I was <laughs> I look like that. You know what I mean? Eric Outdoors, you right, mate? He said, hey, Mike, it's been a while since I hopped on the live stream, but still enjoying all your videos you're making. Happy holidays. Yes. And I just want it. Yes, good to see you on, mate. I'll be back to normal now. I'll start doing, I might mod that. Um, one of the next videos, maybe modding that machete. Um, Len said, no Christmas video from Tumbo this year. Um, where am I? I shot off and disappeared. Any word of him? Only, no, only that he'd had, um, he was having ankle problems or something, wasn't he, he said. Like, a bit of health issues. But other than that, I don't know. Um, but yeah, you know, you don't know, do you? The Brad Norton said, I make plans every New Year's of getting into shape, and I sit down for a year and nothing happens. That's it. I have been doing it though. He said, I got a bit lazy lately. <laughs> right, Peach. Um, Tactical Park said, A lot of two row radios are like that, Mike. It's called expanded mode. I actually found a mode for one, uh, first in the world to do it. And famous that's good though isn't it yeah it's it's surprising they have these little things being built with in them carl said um fate plays a big part when your time here is done i two mates never drink never smoked bit as fuck but mass well that's it yeah it, it, it is true carl it you it, it can just happen can't it you know what i mean um yeah you know i don't regret all the stuff i've done but um <laughs> you know what I mean? But yeah, there are some things that do help, I think. You know, weight weight can be an issue in general, can't it? Sort of thing. But I know what you mean. You can be fit and you can still get it, can't you? WS94, Stu. He said, that sounds good, mate. A couple of the Hellraiser films I could only get on Region 1. It's well worth owning, isn't it, Stu? Video base said, bummed that I didn't have any bolts. In the garage, I didn't have a proper look at your picture. What was it held on by? Um, zip ties. I was on my bloody phone at the time. No, right, where am I? That said, well, according to the quack, apart from the dodgy knee, my neck and shoulder, and being mad, I'm very fit for my age. That's good. Eric said, What is your favorite piece on your gun board? Uh, I don't know, probably Chinese Model 8 success ballpark rifle. Bill all said, are those guns real? <laughs> and that in the back, yes, they fucking are. That's the best question I've heard all year. <laughs> yes, they are. Although <laughs> well, they're made of cloth now. 
Dom Sabo said, my banner looks exactly to scale for me. It is. It is. Yes, it worked out bloody perfectly, Adam Riggs. When I hang it properly, it will look better than that. I've not hung it properly. But, yeah, my, that wasn't like, you know, that was a, a bit of a fluke, really. I kept looking and looking. It just happened that one of the um, banners happened to be the exact same length. So I made sure that it had a border at the top and the bottom. Yeah, and it bloody went and fit perfectly. When I hang it properly, I'll probably take those two crossbows down so it sits flatter, and maybe I might have to move the um, the picture frame. We'll see. But yeah, Bill, Al, you're right, mate. Right, well, where am I? Really, both said didn't even notice the board, so it works. And that's good. That's good. I've I've tricked you all as well because the thumbnail is actually the board, but when you come on, it's not. Rems, I said, Mike, just has a lot of res texture for distances now. For his wall. Exactly. <laughs> For fuck's sake. All right, where am I? Yeah, it was just ties, was it, Pete? Yeah, I couldn't read. I was on my phone, so the picture was like that big. Dumbo Sabo said, um, my ex that I had my two oldest boys with died just before Christmas. She was only 48, pneumonia due to smoking. Makes you think. Now, sorry to hear that. That's no, blood terrible, isn't it? Oh, what an age, that thing. Yeah, it sort of says a lot, though, don't it? Sort of, you know, that kind of age. Um, Where am I? Carl said, yeah, still worth looking after yourself. No extreme, just moder moderate what you eat. Moderate what you eat and drink. Simple. Exactly. That's it, though, Carl. You are right there. You know, um, yeah. You don't want to... Don't abuse things. You know, I must admit, I still abuse alcohol when i drink I, I drink way too much when i drink um and i really fucking shouldn't but i'm i can't control myself but yeah i'm gonna definitely try and get out and about more this year that would help harry schmidt you're right mate and then bill Al said i had a good question go on ask ask if it are those guns real and that in the back i have replied yes they are Finally caught up. Don't forget to get your merchandise in. We've got mugs, t-shirts, hoodies, banners. You can even buy that banner if you want. Uh, yeah, I've, I've, I've designed the banner for here now. So I can do that one soon. Ninja Rabbi said, why the new banner loophole for some kind of YouTube weapons guys yeah pretty much pretty much it's it's for two things it's um technically i can show them on a live stream i'm not allowed to handle them though but because i don't trust youtube i thought i'd just cover them up and it does two things it stops them being funny saying now oh, you're showing guns just in case they want to also them being covered up it stops me accidentally picking one up i've got a design for this and i'll buy this one soon maybe even later and this will be hung better, so you can't really tell. But, yeah, it's pretty much that, Ninja. Carl said, get out more in them woods. Pup. That's exactly it, Carl. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I've already had some plans. Architects, I'm a savage, right, mate? Good to see you on. Numbers are going up now. Don't forget to like everyone, by the way. It's, it's going up. There's 22 on, 17 likes. Richard, I don't think I'll be 15 stone again. I've been doing a few core workouts and I look thinner, but I'm heaviest I've been at 16 stone eight. Yeah. Well, you're quite fit though, aren't you, Rich? And you're quite tall as well, aren't you? Because 16 stone and eight for me, that was about the heaviest I've ever been. And it, I looked it because I'm not very tall. Jasmine said, waiting for a shirt with just your face on it. Well, right, if that's what you want, I'll sort that out for you, Jan. <laughs> you don't have to tell me what kind of um, expression you want, though. Right, where am I? William I said, watched all the Witcher now. was good. If you know what's going on, it's based on the books, not the games. No, I see, I know what you mean. Savage said, um, you've seen the news about the airstrikes in Baghdad? Shit, it's heating up in one. Yes, yeah, I've not seen a lot of it, but yeah, I knew about it. I'll have to have a look later. Ninja Rabbit, it's a smart plan. Um, 
so you can't even hold a deer weapon in a video well in a normal video i can live streams i can't it's live streams is the main issue i've got to be careful you can't hold any firearm on a live stream the problem is though if i hold a diac they won't know it's um not a firearm um when's i said remind me next time over to bring the present from high global will do mate what was you laughing at zed Oh my bed north and said how big are these stones you use for measurements over there uh talking builders og pebbles i oh, stones for fuck's sake oh, i went straight over my head then about this big <laughs> fuck's sake harris Schmidt said have you ever been to blackpool no no mate a bit far from me Carl said, something going on with YouTube. Bad comments not shown. But I've seen them in notifications. Yeah, that's annoying, isn't it? Um, Carl, do you ever get on on like YouTube with a um, computer? Sometimes if you can get on with a computer, there's more options. There's a lot of hidden stuff on phones that you can't actually see. Um, yeah, it's, not, it's annoying, though, isn't it? I get loads of fucking comments that I look in my spam or my hidden section, and yeah. Ask the tech home savage can you buy fights? Yeah, but I, I can't, I don't know. But a couple of years ago, you could literally go into any corner shop, you know, and buy um, fireworks. I don't think it's that easy now. It may be completely different now. I don't know. Stu said to Carl, YouTube could be mistaken then for spam comments. That does happen sometimes, especially if someone, if someone accidentally does, like, puts a dot, too close to the end of the word and and the next one is like a three letter word it thinks you're putting a link in but yeah there's a lot of issues on here but yeah that is partly just because i don't trust youtube so for our benefit i'll cover the bastards up don't matter that looks just as good i think you can't hardly tell and after this stream if i've got enough money i'll buy the other one i should have I've designed it. If you look on my um, if you look on my Teespring, how'd you get the Teespring up? It's, it's exclamation mark merch in it for that one. Um, have a look on there, and you'll see that it's, it's three parts though, because they only do these in a certain size. I've had to put the picture on three times, and then what I'll do, I'll fold it over and then hang it up there. It's like literally the only way I could do it. Yeah, there, there's a lot of weird shit with um youtube so have it said oh, i hadn't noticed the wall that's nice looks just like the old one that's all right isn't it yeah it, it means that they can't then claim there's guns on the wall because it's the same stuff but it's hidden so yeah oh, that's good that that's working then that a lot of people don't even notice him that's fucking great <laughs> yeah i made that just because I, it was never intended for this i just wanted to sell a banner of my my gun board because people say they like it. Yeah, I'll hang it up properly eventually, so it's not like this. I'm going to put a rail across or something, um, and then I'll have to either move that to somewhere. Maybe I could just move it down there. Still work, wouldn't it? I wonder if I could if I could do some kind of sliding. I might do that. I might see if I could do like a sliding thing. So I can slide that down for live stream, slide it back into position for um, normal ones. I'll, I'll sort something out. Yeah. But if that hangs a little bit flatter, it would look a bit better, wouldn't it? And that's a good sign that uh, people barely notice it. <laughs> yeah, and I'll do this one soon. That's good. It says on the old Nightbot link, doesn't it? Buy weapon collector T-shirts, hoodies, stickers, banners, and more. Is chat still working. I know it's everyone's gone quiet suddenly. It all scares me when you get that for a couple of um. <laughs> don't get no comments for a couple of minutes. What well, I might do, I might do Zed. Um, the only issue is, is the length is slightly too long for a standard one. Although I could easily make a um. I, 
I think I'm going to have a think about it. What I'll do, Zed, I'm going to look into it. Zed said use a roller for it, maybe. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get this pole I had that I've ordered. And if I if I get sick of it, um, I'm going to uh, probably do a roller blind. Tack 2 said, all right, mate. Be back in a minute. Don't know. Don't know where you live. All right, Jack. That's <laughs> it. Jack Stryker, you're right, Jack. He said it will be like a cigarette case in the supermarket. That's it. That's it. <laughs> hiding, yeah, hiding the fucking guns behind the thing. Um, you're right, Jack. By the way, that was interesting about tactical bushcraft, wasn't it? Did you look it up in the end? Weapons, I, I, how did I know? Someone told me on here. Weapons, I've said, video keeps buffering for me, so I have to keep hitting live every few minutes. That kept happening to me on yours the other day, Liam. Richard and Mike, in my last video, could you hear what I was saying? Okay. I had someone complaining. I suspect we're looking for an argument. i tell you what, Rich, I didn't get a chance to watch that. Was that with the bow? I haven't watched that yet. I will watch it, though. I'll watch that after this. I'm getting really behind on videos. Maybe everyone started going on fucking line or something. Who knows? Here, I mean, you know what I mean? Jack said, Yeah, looked it up. Could happen to anyone, I suppose. You're right. Well, in that situation he was in, you know, um, in all honesty, I think he did quite well considering. <laughs> <laughs> After Tex Homer said, keep your eyes on the news. There could be another war in the Middle East if Iran tries to do any retaliating. Keep that food supply up, water plan, outdoor ship plan. Be on your toes, guys. Yeah, good idea, mate. Good idea. It's always it's always best to be um, aware of these things, isn't it? But yeah. Um. Liam said to Richard, not watched it yet, but don't think I had any notification for it. But I've had loads of random trolls recently. Probably just sad bastards, if you ask me. That's probably what it is. There's always some weird fuckers wanting to talk bollocks about something, isn't there? I don't add any recently. And then I, my channel gets to the fucking stage where it's hardly getting anyone on it. Very bizarre, but the the subscribers always go up. It's quite it's quite weird. Have YouTube are try to kill off your channel, but don't work. Hide your videos as soon as you put them on. Don't send them to your subscribers. But see, because they don't they don't fucking reckon for the fact that I share them all over the place. So you know if they don't fucking share them on here, they get shared somewhere else instead. Um, Carl said I had a bloke come in the flat before Christmas to do a fire safety inspection. He went into the spare room, seemed to be in there a long time. Then I realized all the guns, bows, and big knots were on display. That's sake. yeah, I have to make sure I'm in here when they come in here. Nowadays, I'd hide them because I did have one bloke come in once. It sort of shocked me that someone would do this in someone's house. Some bloke walked in here to check the radiators, went up to my gun board, took one of the guns down. I started fucking clicking the fucking trigger. Why would you do that? <laughs> fucking mental, isn't it? You know, you know, it just done it before I even realised what you're doing. Very bizarre thing. Yeah. Liam said, "Don't know if you heard, Mike, as you've not been on a lot recently, but Hype upgraded my Discord for me, so whenever I or you make a video, it's posted for the donators." Ah, oh, fucking hell, that's very good of him, isn't it? Ah, oh, brilliant. That's fucking. That's brilliant. Yeah. No, yeah, because I ain't been on for like nine days. I've missed a lot of things. Yeah. I just fancied a real good proper break. You know what I mean? Sometimes it gets on like gets on my nerves a bit. It's because it was get because of those daily videos. It was starting to get on my nerves. I like to have a day off every now and then. And I wasn't. I don't do like two videos a day. You know. You lot know how it is anyway. Bob said, Mike, I had some English Christmas pudding for the first time. It was amazing. Oh, nice. I'm glad you like that, Bob, because a lot of people went too into that. Like, everyone in my house doesn't really like it apart from me. We've still got a Christmas pudding in the cupboard. I Normally, it's about now that I remember it's there. <laughs> yeah, good on you, Bob. Who bought that? Your brother-in-law, was it? Or... 
Savage says, so city inspectors also tip off the police um, in the UK if you have anything. That's right. They might do. They might do, Savage. I really don't know. You never know. Well, it all depends. Some people are all right, but Zed said he had the shock of his life if it had gone bang. That's what I mean. That's what I mean. What a stupid thing to do to pick up a gun that could have potentially been loaded. Yeah, foolish bloke. That was at the after that I started screwing them to the wall. And actually, I'm doing after like soon. I'm gonna buy. I don't know if I've ordered them yet, but I'm buying a load of padlocks because I've noticed that every time someone gets raided by the police, and one of the things they like to moan about is um, that the weapons were potentially easily accessible and could get into other people's hands. So I'm gonna um, padlock them all to the wall now. Where was I? Um, Savage. So I'm an electrician and I have to deal with inspectors all the time. Uh, so in the UK, inspectors can mess with your shit. That pisses me off. I don't know. I, you know, I suppose if they're in there and they felt like it, like most, I suppose if they're a busybody, they might grass, really not grass you up because you're not committing a crime anyway. That's it. Exactly. As Carl says, Nothing illegal to own anyway. I nothing illegal. So like me, I don't have nothing illegal. So even if they did, they can't say anything anyway. Um Liam said, yes, yeah. so let me know in a few days if your vids when you get back in a few string of things get more views than normal. As more people will always get notified for doing it. Yeah, thank you, Liam. I definitely will, mate. Uh Tactical said, yeah, I've got to have it with custard bob. So things that worry it right, mate. Um when I said, a Thames Valley police bloke shot another officer by accident, pissing back the gun during a demonstration. Disgraceful, really. Yeah, you're right. Bob said tactical, yes, it had to have custard. Oh, my God, it was heaven. Yeah, I'll have some soon. Jack said, that's why I show nothing on YouTube anymore. Mike. Yeah, I 100% agree with you, Jack. I 100% agree with you. Yeah. But I hadn't already got all this stage. I probably would. But, um, yeah, I don't I don't blame you. And I would. I would if I could sort of thing. You know what I mean? Um, so now I'm just going to up it a bit, lock them to the wall, shit like that, just so it's a little bit more, because it's all legal anyway, but then they can't say, well, it's easy, accessible, someone broke in your house, what well, fucking ain't. So, yeah. Taxi, all right, Mike. Just seen a video of yours. Do you still have the fair barn sights knife? Yeah, there it is. Up there. I like this because I can still show the weapons. <laughs> Ninja Rabble said, can't someone steal a Diak and use it to club you? <laughs> yeah, use it as a club. Hello. Plasma, hello. I can't read your writing, sadly, but hello. Where am I? Carl said, Debbie told me to put a lock on the spare room. When they had the FAC, I had a locker bolt. Yeah, with a wall. In. That's it. FAC, you got to went your car. But yeah, I'm I'm going to lock all that on there now, and I'm going to make a cabinet there, there, and put my air rifles in, lock them in it. Just just for my own peace of mind, really, because I'm not. Um... I'm not committing any crimes anyway. You know what I mean? Um, but. Then, then you can't have them saying, "Oh, well, you had them at easily accessible." Well, they're not. Yeah. Um, video boy said, "Did you see the videos on Facebook of the people shooting in the air, the air to celebrate? One of them shoots power line." No, I'm not seeing that. Pete, you might have to share that with me. Well, uh, Liam said to Savage, "Even I always check the safety breach with firearm air rifles before doing anything with them." I've said makes sense, Jack. Things said, have you seen the new high powered rubber band rifle I made for my nephew Mike? No, I'll watch that later if you want then, Slingshot. No, I've not seen that, mate. Um oh yeah, Tack said, thinking about getting one. Just found out from my mother that my great uncle fought in the Korean War. Yeah, bloody hell. Yeah, they're oh, they're well worth getting. And I know that's a banner, but everything on that is still there. So, yeah, even though that's a picture of it, it's still there behind there. Yeah, if you – the reproductions you can get are really good um, for the price of that. Liam will tell you. Um, 
as good as the original things, and they're made in the same place, I think. You know, if you can't get an original, that I'm pretty sure is an original one. It's older than me. Uh, yeah, even if you can't get an original, though, because I bet they're a lot of money now. Get a reproduction, they're still just as good. I love the old fair barn sites fighting. I think they're fucking amazing. Lovely things. Yeah, because I love I love daggers and any sort of fighting knives that was designed for Yeah. WS ninety four said Sheffield knives makes a good fair barn sites knives. Well there you go. Um cheers, Stu. Savage said I like them low side bones you got there, Mike. Let's go all this shit. Very psycho. <laughs> Billy looking. That's it. <laughs> Rock and roll. Let me would approve. Do you know what? I think these was inspired by... Um, you ever watched Ricky from the Trailer Park Boys? <laughs> I think that was inspired by him. You don't see people have the old long sideburns now, do you? Thank you. I appreciate it. People do quite often say about that, though. Right, where am I? Weapons and stuff said, yeah, I had some idiot calling me a retard on a video regarding replicas, despite the fact that he obviously didn't know the history behind the originals. Exactly. And, you know. Zed said um, to a video, most funniest thing I heard of, funniest in a sick sort of way, was when Rambo 2 was shown in Iraq. The audience got excited and joined in the shooting. <laughs> Uh, multiple or so three dead and doesn't badly wounded as rock fuck, you know. When I said to Stu, I keep meaning to buy the MOD knife as well, but wasted invested too much recently in Giga counters. Uh, I'm only laughing because I know how much you spend, Liam. <laughs> Quite often tells me <laughs> exactly now, but no, uh, if you got it and you want it, you know, if you got the money, you want it, get it. Tack said the reproductions look lovely, nice and pointy. You can pick up an original for 300 to 500. Yeah, it's a lot of money for a knife, but you know, I bet an original's worth it. But yeah, I think those reproductions are, are decent. I would get one. Where am I? Savage said, when you see those sideburns, it means they like to party. <laughs> oh, I definitely do. What's that? Um, Zucks Laszlo. You right, mate? He said, good to see you again, mate. Where am I? Liam said, you get a bit from it at least. Hopefully not. Yeah, thank you, um, Liam. Yeah, I'll have a look later. <coughs> Things that I bought Last Blood on DVD. Nice one. That's a good film. Where am I? Richard, I'm interested to see if I get more views doing singing videos. There's a few YouTubers I've watched do vocal covers. Seem to get a few views even for small channels. Have you started any of that yet, Rich? That'd be interesting to see. You might as well on here, you know what I mean? You know, the way it's going, you must, you know, there's nothing wrong with changing it up a bit, is there? Stu said to Liam, I bought my um, army clasp knife from them, and that's decent as well. Wouldn't mind the MOD knife either. Zuck said he's all right. He hope your New Year's will like it. Yeah, mine was all right, actually, yeah. I did get extremely drunk and ended up sitting up till 8 o'clock in the morning drinking, but uh, still feel slightly hungover now, I think. I had to go to the hospital today. Not for nothing bad, for like a checkup thing. And fucking hell, my head was going like mental in the hospital. <laughs> Video base said, I have a chunk of 01 steel that I've had for years. I'll take it with me uh, when I book the forge day. Maybe make a knife out of it. Oh, nice. When you're doing that, then, Pitch, that sounds good. <laughs> Red knife, the hospitals are scary. I don't like them. Yeah, sat about. I've done a couple of good deeds there. I saw someone drop some money, so I told him it was there. Uh, and I helped some bloke who, um, <laughs> sorry, laughing at Iron Man. And I helped some bloke who was sitting in the wrong place, basically. So, yeah, I've done some good deeds. Iron Man Spartan said, Cock the picture of the shotgun. Actually, that may cock now. <laughs> By the way, Iron Man, I've put your name on here now. See, as you've supported me on the old links. Merry Christmas, by the way. Happy New Year. Where am I? Dad said, I've got money for Christmas. I was naughty and I bought something rather expensive for me anyway. It was one of the um, my grail knives down under Outback. It's a fucking beautiful thing. Ah, nice. That sounds great. Yeah, all right, man. Oh, yeah, Richard, you're on there as well. And Bob the Metal Guy. 
Oh, I said I would, Iron Man, didn't I? I just didn't got around to it yet. So, yeah, you're on there now, mate. Um, Zucks said me, too. I've done for I was. I was. I'd say I was still slightly hungover now, I think. But uh, Zed, Zed, yes, that sounds amazing. Yeah. I do like them. Nice. Actually, saying that, I watched over Christmas, I did watch um, Crocodile Dundee. And maybe even the second one. Oh, there was a day when I sat there, and for some reason, by pure fluke, every single film I watched was Australian. And I watched that Hunt. It's in the Hunt for the Wilder People. That's really good, actually. It's fucking excellent. Yeah, Hunt for the Wilder People. Excellent film. Richard, not yet, Mike. Need a better camera and a mic. Oh, yeah, I forget about that. You got, it's going to set him back 200 quid. Yeah, Mike, Christmas Angel. <laughs> Ninja Rabbi said, I've got the Gerber Applegate Fairby folder. I've seen that. Sorry, I've got fucking hiccups now. It was like the pocket version. And the thing is like a dang sword in your pocket. Yeah, I have seen that. My man says, owes me a kiss. <laughs> Carl said, thinking about it, everyone looks at YouTube. So if the shit at the fan people know who are preppers, they will have food and guns, etc. So they will head, head to them once food runs out locally. Food for oh, I know what you mean there, Carl. That's where you got to... Definitely try and keep your um keep your identity as low as possible if you can. We'll just hope that they think you're a better not. Really basically got to book it sometime this year. Got to make a sax. Nice one, mate. <laughs> Ted said oh and yes, it is a nice one. Um Liam said, what's the good, realistic, for the most part, Australian horror the other day called Inner Demon? But a girl who gets abducted by a serial killer couple and has to escape. I might have seen that. Uh, it's not based on a true story either, is it? And she tied up to the bed at one point. I think I've seen that and I quite enjoyed it. Zed said, um, uh, it's just... Right, Richard said, good luck with that, Peach. Hope it all goes well. Iron Man said, I want them to come to me. and No problem eating humans. Hey, exactly. exactly. Inner Demon. I don't, weirdly enough, um, Liam, that sounds familiar, but I'm not sure. Is, there a, is it set in like a suburban house? Have they got a dog in it? Um... But yeah, Wolf Freak, I've seen. That's a brilliant film. Yeah. Stu said to tack it. It's a military knife. Sheffield, Sheffield knives make. Made um, MOD specification. Let me look up Inner Demon and I'll tell you. Let's use the Google fucking talking thing. Inner Demon film. Well, let's come up with film. Fucking useless thing. Film the film. Oh, fuck's sake. Right. Um, right, where am I? Video basically, yeah, thanks for it. Choosing the um, sets because it's a knife. Uh, the Prince of Persia, two thrones that caught my eye. I'm basing it off of. Oh, I may have seen Inner Demons. We'll see in a minute. Um, no, I haven't. No, definitely haven't seen that. No. There's a dog and dogs, yeah. She's abducted from the suburbs at the beginning. They take her to take the girl out to a remote house. Right, man. No, that's not the one. There's a similar film to that. They're set in Australia, based on true story. So Ingshot said, how long is the stream set to go for? At least another hour, mate. An hour, ten minutes. So Ingshot said, I prefer creature features. I like um quiet place. Yeah, no spoilers for that, please, anyone. I'm not saying you would. I bought um, Quiet Place on, um, was it Blu-ray or DVD? I got that for Christmas anyway. Bob said, um, keep your food and preps under lock and key. That's it. That's it, um, Bob. That helps. 
don't you? How was your Christmas anyway, Bob? I, yeah, I've been watching your videos. Look good. They look good. <laughs> Tactical, they don't eat sausages, they're forced things. <laughs> Fuck's sake. We've just bought a proper old mincing thing, you know, like a cast iron mincing thing to make sausages. E Honda, you're right, mate. It's a happy new year. Any big plans for the channel in the new year? Um, nothing I've really thought about yet. Uh, I'm always trying to up things when I can. Um, <laughs> when I can be bothered. No, not nothing I thought of yet. Maybe I'll come up with something. Put more effort into it. How are you, mate, anyway? Hope you had a good Christmas. The bad Norseman said, used to be big on prepping food. Now I honestly can't be bothered anymore, so I'll keep a week's worth and so food in the pantry. Is that what they are, Carl? That's it, yes. One of those, yeah, that's it. Yes, exactly, Carl. Yeah, that is it. Yeah, yeah, Spong and Co. or whatever it is. Yeah, Mincer. That's it. Yes, one of them. Yeah, bought one of them. Hey, Honda, did you check out my building a computer video? No, I haven't had a chance. I'll be honest with you, I've not watched barely any videos for the past um, nine, nine, ten days. Although, if that's the one, that may have been on before that one. It Ted said, um, that's a point. If a Saxon warrior went mad in London and attacked people with a knife, would it be Saxon in the city? For fuck's sake. Double side Bush and Mike, I've never been a mincer myself, mate. <laughs> fuck's sake. My man's part of rice and sardines are cheap and good for prepping. Here's a bit of advice I've learned from um, myself and Malcolm. Be very, very careful where you keep your um, prepping food. Make sure it's secure and can't get fucking um, animals in it, basically. Um, because, yeah, I know a couple of people now who's fucking um, bug out food has had stuff get in it, basically. <laughs> Ehon said, check that one out if you have a chance. I'll put some work into that one. Right, will do. He said, well, I just saw the banner. It's good, isn't it? There are quite a few people. When I put it up properly, I doubt there's there's been a few people on tonight, e that didn't even notice. <laughs> I'll put it up properly soon. That, I just draped it up there quickly. Tim C said, tuna is good too, Iron Man, last few years. Slingshot Warrior said, has anyone ever met Warwick Davis? Nope. I was going to make a joke then, so yeah, he came up to about here on me. <laughs> Seeing as I'm a hobbit as well. T T2 coin seek. You're right, mate. Bob said my Christmas was fantastic. Tons of great food, cold beer, and lots of pretty ladies around. Thanks for asking. <laughs> yeah, I've seen the videos, uh, Bob. Look very good. That was interesting seeing some of your relatives as well. Yeah, good video. You still only caught the missus like for one second, but not like that though, didn't you? <laughs> oh, where am I? Bear Northman, storing food under the right conditions is fairly important. Putting bags of flour or tins of meat in a shed is a no-go. Unless you um got a fancy shed. Well, exactly, exactly. Yeah. Well, I've managed to get something in my bag at bag while it's in my fucking loft. I'm about to take it out now and put it in metal boxes. All my bag at bags and all of the food. So it goes to show, even in your loft, your attic, you can still get someone up there eating your fucking um, bug up. But, you know, if it's not sealed up properly, which mine wasn't, and partly my own fault, I wouldn't have ever thought something would be getting up into my loft to eat a bag of fucking rice. I'm saying this, as this happened recently. Uh, when's I said, ah, yes, the midge. <laughs> We can talk to Transformer about him. Go on if you want. It'll probably confuse everyone, though. <laughs> I don't mind. Everyone will be like, what the fuck is he putting on here? But, yeah, go on. 
keep do a nice little short one. Talk to Transformer, it makes up you put a couple of words in and it makes stories up about them, but it's like a machine learning thing, so it actually sort of makes sense. So I said, Never mind animals, don't let your wife get in there. That's what happened to me. A mate of mine, she didn't go shopping for one week. Oh, I thought they were getting all the bug out through that. Riggs said, yeah, I was going to sell my old car to Mark Davis. But when he turned up for the cash, he was about a 50 cents short. Like to say. Dad said, he asked her why, but I found lots of food in the cupboard of yours, she said. Like to say. Yeah, thank you for the link, Shad Dan. Bad North was here. Lofts can be bad too. Ours is a cold one, insulation on the floor in the attic. It won't be storing anything edible up there. Yeah, I've learned the hard way. It's rare and awesome. It was, I must admit, though, the actual bag out bags was fine, but there was one bag that was, like, left open because it was, like, a... Like, I had proper bag out bags, and I had other bags that had stuff in that I can take out and add to ones, and it was one of them. It's my own fault, really. Tack said, where did you get your fair barn site? Did anyone want to fight in wars in your family? Yes. Um, well, that was my dad's, but I don't know where he got it from. You know, it may have been in one of the wars for all I know, but he doesn't seem to know. Um, but yeah, I did have family members, but I don't think it was theirs as far as I know, because um, it might be. It, it might be. I know my dad's granddad didn't because he had like something wrong with him that stopped him going to war. Um, but his dad definitely did and died, you know, in um, World War One. Which makes me think it probably wasn't because we don't seem to have anything of his because his body's not even in this country. I don't know. Tim say he said little gets go up through the cavity walls. I had one the other year. He only came out at night. He was up and down like a horse does. That's what that's it, isn't it, Tim? It's it surprised you did, doesn't it? Rich said, Mike, can you get steel money tins that lock? I don't think any rodents could chew through one of those. That's it. That's exactly it, Rich. Oh, I've put mine now in a metal filing cabinet, which should hopefully make a bit of a difference. I'm not that fussed if they get in there anyway, but yeah. It was my own fault for keeping a bag of fucking... It was a little bag of rice. I think... It, uh, do you know what it was? It was totally my own fault, in all honesty. In a bug up bag, there was an open plastic bag. In that open plastic bag was a bag of fucking boiling-the-bag rice. So a boiling-the-bag rice has holes in it, so they could probably smell it. But sort of my own fault. I should have been more prepared. But, uh, well, Carl said, um, yeah, tinned is the best stuff. I've got corned beef, good for 2023. That's is it, exactly, isn't it, Carl? The bread Norseman said, had to shoot two rats in the kitchen some years back. Damn things came up along the pipes. Um, Would not touch the rat traps. Yeah, surprising, isn't it? Surprising. <laughs> Pat said, army would send his personal effect back home on. It might be then. It might be. It's just as far as I'm aware, we never had anything. But I don't know. It could be. It could be. You know, I'll have to ask my dad one day if he knows whose it was. He might just say, now I bought it for mate. <laughs> you know what I mean? Then I But yeah, he's never said it was um, family, but it could be. Seems that Warren said, has anyone heard of um, international child support? No. Well, not really. No. I don't know. I don't, I'm not, it's not nothing I've ever needed to look into. What makes you say that then, Slingshot? Weapons and stuff said, um, just did dozens of talks to Transformer and none made me laugh. I went, ah, well. The ones you used to put on Twitch were fucking good. There's a lot of weird, proper weird ones, weren't there? Tap said, I'm going to my uncle's to see his personal items and medals from Korea in the coming weeks. And that sounds brilliant. The only thing we've got of my relatives is the plaque thing, you know, saying about that he died, basically, that they would have sent to, you know, his wife, I suppose. And that is actually framed in my front room next to two pictures of me and Malcolm. They're not up at the minute, but we're going to put them back up. Since I decorated that room, we're going to put some pictures up of my, um, not that, I'm pointing at the wall. Uh, I'm going to put some pictures up of my sister's wedding, and then we're going to put the pictures back up of the hand-drawn pictures of me and Mark and the um, my great-granddad's um, thing. Yeah. He was in the Hampshire Regiment. Where am I? 
prepared and awesome said running away i always think so i was friendly right mate that said sounds very nice mike i'm a history geek it's nice knowing these things though isn't it you know we've done a load of research into my great granddad and it was really really surprising you know very interesting rn you're right mate it had helped my father in law was driving me fucking crazy <laughs> as he has for the over for the holidays that's sake, okay. yeah crap me up so then said american soldier knocks up a french girl in the services he's still on the hook even in different countries well, that's it Dad said my old man was the RAF in World War II. He didn't get issued with a fair barn socks, unfortunately. He did manage to acquire one of the inflatable survival dinghies, though. Oh, nice. Yes. Yeah. I remember my nan telling me a story about her dad. So God knows what war this would have been in. Well, potentially World War One, maybe earlier than that. But um, she said he came back with... um. Came back from the war with missing fingers. She, she was a kid at the time, so she never really knew what it was. So, yeah, so if she was a kid, this would have been like World War One or before, wouldn't it? Um, yeah, if she was like if she was like 80 in the 90s, yeah, it would be World War One then, wouldn't it, I assume? But anyway, did her, her dad came back with fingers missing and a bag of something in it that he would never ever let anyone open she said even you know she never ne she never ever knew what's in it but but no way would he let anyone open that bag my first thought he had his fingers in it you know as a kid i don't think that now you know when she told me i was about eight so oh, yeah that's his fingers in there <laughs> that says actually murder to find um much about the korean war they called it the Forgotten War. The only memorial in Britain is in the town in Bathgate, uh, not far from where I stay in Scotland. That's a shame, isn't it? Yeah. Shame these things are hard to find. Talked to my uncle went when he was 17, black hair, came back with a head of grey hair. Scary to think of. Yeah, that's I've I've always found that fascinating, you know. But um, yeah, if you look at pretty much anyone who fought in the world wars i know it sounds weird but not everyone does go gray but every every fucking person who fought in them wars fucking did i'll tell you <laughs> you know and things like the korean war yeah in like proper white gray you know what i mean um but yeah especially if they're young you know that's saying something isn't it So I've gone quiet again. Rita said his great granddad was in the Boer War. I wouldn't mind researching more into our, um, you know, things like that. Ehon said he has a Mosin Nagant used in World War II by the Russians. Yeah, fucking hell. That's good. Paired Norseman said, yep, let the politicians fight their own wars, greedy bastards. That's it, you know. I reckon they'd struggle to get people. Well, no, they wouldn't actually. When you think, I've often thought about it. If there was something like that happening, I used to think I wouldn't fucking, I wouldn't fight. You know what I mean, I'm not fighting for this fucking um, this country or this government. But then, when you think about it, that's not who you're fighting for. You're fighting to save your family and your kids or your your relatives' kids, aren't you? Or or your relatives' kids' futures, aren't you really? Zed said war started by old men, fought by um young men. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, the old saying for king and country, I think it was more for my wife and children. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Tax said, What's the most in the gant? It's a rifle, but that's spelt wrong. Which I thought that's maybe what you was doing. That's, yeah, I read that, you know. Tim said, I used to work with a bloke who was in the Korean War. He used to tell me stories about him and his mates would sneak prostitutes into the camp and keep lookout for each other. Nice. Ah, as long as they got some good memories, isn't it? Thing shot warrior said I could never relate to 007 
because I'm from a blue collar black background, but Rambo is much more of a working class hero. Uh, Carl said they called the troubles in Northern Ireland the Forgotten War. I ain't forgot it. People forgot the IRA blowing places up in the 80s. Exactly, Carl. Yeah, yeah. I'm old enough to remember. But yeah, there are a lot of people who forget that fucking stuff, and you know, they fucking shouldn't. You know, I won't go too much into that. You know what I mean? But yes, I am trying to move here, Carl. You know what I mean? Tack said to tactical. Frank saves a Google search and leaving the video. Well, so as a man soon to be joining the army, I'm doing it for myself and I have a great career. Also for the family name. That's it. That's it, Will. I'm glad you said that. Because I've got no, you know me, I've got nothing against people who are in the military. It's just, um, you know, in the old days, they used to say for king and country, but um, that wouldn't be my, um, you know what I mean? No, I've got full 100 res respect for anyone who's been or going to be in the military. There's quite a few people in the stream here who have. But yeah, when I, I often used to think, you know, if there was like a World War Three, I used to think, oh, I, I wouldn't want to fight, not, not for this not for this country now or, or this government or whatever. But, yeah, you would, you would, and as you say. Uh, where am I? Zed said, when the politicians tell you to fight for our way of life, they mean it literally that they want you to fight for their way of life. Like no one will forget the troubles, especially when family were involved. Yeah. Well, the thing is, there's a lot of there's a lot of people nowadays, young people who, who don't know about it. You know what I mean? And they should really. Um, you know, if you look at some of the shit that goes on now, there's shit going a lot worse in the 80s, wasn't there? I was born 1980, so I, you know, I do remember a bit of it. Or any war when it comes, it must have been horrendous. Exactly. Carl said, Will Carl, enjoy, mate. But yeah, I don't think any of you thought this anyway, but in no way would I ever disrespect anyone in the military or anything. You know what I mean? I just, I thought about my own reasons, you know, when they say, oh, you know, and I couldn't think of any, but then I suddenly could. I thought, well, it's not that, you know. In the old days, they, you know, they probably did used to think you know, fight for king country, because it was a different country then, wasn't it? You know, who would want to fight for, <laughs> you know, but you would to make sure your kids and your family are all right, wouldn't you? If, you know, if if you've got to stop a fucking country invading your country, then you've got to, haven't you, really? Yeah. Slingshot said, who knows, King Arthur might rise from his grave. Well, he's supposed to, you know, Slingshot, ain't he? If, if um, I don't know if he's, I don't know if he's England or Britain, but if England or Britain are ever in like mortal danger or whatever, King Arthur is supposed to come back, save us all. So you never know. You might do. I like the um, King Arthur legends, the Arthurian legends, whatever you call it. Very, very interesting. Fred Norton said, rather learn a new language. Wouldn't be dead, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, that will agree with you. But, yeah. Um, Tat said, I look after apprentices and they're fucking clueless to anything beyond their birth year. Yeah, you're right. I think it's just how it is nowadays, you know. What was going on the other day? There's something the other day, and I thought, how the fuck did they not know anything about anything, you know? It's just how it is nowadays, though, you know. I, I think, well, I don't really know. I don't know, but. Because like there's it's it's easier to get this information now as well. It used to be fucking hard to find out a lot of stuff. You fucking find anything out nowadays, but people don't really care anymore, do they? I don't know. Right, where am I? Slingshot said he needs to come back ASAP. Yeah, I'll agree with you. Dad said to Slingshot, Arthur wasn't king. He was the uh what's that, Dukes? Bellarum, a warlord for the hostilities. Uh, Tim said, the banner looks great, Mike. If it was straight, you'd never realise it's there. 
colours on the screen look spot on. Looks all right, don't it, Tim? I'm going to sort it out properly soon. I will. Um, that's just sort of draped up there. But yeah, I'll, I'll put it up properly next time. Well, not next time, but soon because I'm going to be on again tomorrow. Well, unless the curtain thing comes tomorrow, and then I might sort it out properly then. Yeah, it looks all right, doesn't it? There's quite a few people who said they didn't even notice. Dad said he wasn't king of all England either. He was fighting to stop England being formed. Is this the real King Arthur or the fictional King Arthur? Or are they the same person? Tack said, no, they don't care until another country are <laughs> chapping at the door. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, well. Uh, Dad said he was a Romano-British, a Romanized Celt. He was fighting the Saxons. English to be. Oh, I did not know that. And is that the same what the fictional thing is then? Or whatever? Because I thought King Arthur was fictional. But there is a real King Arthur as well in there. Or am I mistaken there? I don't know. All depends, don't it? Did he get a sword out of her? Um, did a lady give him a sword out of the thing? Yeah, I sort it out properly, but yeah, that's that's a very good um, worked out perfect basically for the um, size. You know, what? I was going to get a gun down then and show you. See, works. Had I got a gun down, that could have stopped the string. T2 said, watched a kid's film earlier called The Kid Who Would Be King. Uh, didn't want to watch it, but it was actually, wasn't was actually that bad. And I, so I've, um, I have heard of that. Who directed that? That was some, uh, I know it was, I think it was Joe Cornish, wasn't it? Let me look that up. Um, I know that whoever made that film was supposed to be, a, it was a good director anyway. Yeah, it's Joe Cornish, yeah. Joe Cornish films are normally good. Um, yeah, I'll probably check that out one day. Uh, T2 well said, yeah, the band looks great, can hardly notice it. And when I put that up properly, I reckon that'll be all right. Fred Norseman said, Um, do you use a lapel microphone for any of your videos? I think I might need one for better audio. I'll have to film the Bond video. I use what do I use? The shitty old mic that's on this camera when I use this. And I use my phone, basically. That's the only two cameras I have, apart from this this webcam. And when I use the webcam, I use a shitty old mic. That's all my mics are shit, basically, for that Norton. Um, Excalibur, I don't know if I've ever seen that. Tattoos, yeah, King Arthur was Scottish. Dad said, well, there seems to be many... There seems there may have been a real Arthur. The fictional one was all due to the Norman propaganda. Nice, yeah. I don't really know nothing about the sort of real Arthurs, if you know what I mean. Um, the only I know the sort of fictional stories, and to me, it is fictional. You know what I mean? Um, actually, yeah, maybe it will arise once independence happens. Yeah, you never know. Dad said, yeah, Welsh and Cornish, most likely. Certainly not Scottish. Brad Norseman said, just been using the one on my phone too. But sitting a distance away from the phone, the audio got a bit wonky. Was it out of sync? If it was out of sync, I might be able to help you there, because I get the same issue. Stu said, I've got to go. Great right, stream, take it easy, everyone. See you later, Stu. It's good having you on, mate. Yeah, see you next time. Probably be on for about another 35 minutes. I'll probably do a full two hours. So what's that? Another, I don't know, 40 minutes, something like that. Oh, sounds a bit like a fish tank. I had an issue where my my phone, while recording, like when you played the footage back, it would be normal, and then it would make a funny noise on the, on the footage, and then the audio would be out of sync. And then I found out the way to stop that happening, I had to turn the Wi-Fi off on my phone. Somehow it was interfering with the recording.
Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to look up my merchandise quickly and see how much the other um, banner would be. Do I get it tonight? Slingshot said, if he did arise from the grave tomorrow, the British establishment would be shaking in their boots. I think they would. Rich said, I'll be off now. No. Good night, Rich. I'll be back on Twitch soon. Maybe Sunday. Maybe um, should be by Monday anyway. So I'll see you then, Rich. Well, I'll see you tomorrow anyway, but yeah. So did I spell that wrong? Where am I? Yeah, it's an hour and a half a sword was called Caliburn or Caliburn. This depends on the sources. Ben Austin awesome said, might try without the phone case on next time. And the acoustics in the living room ain't the best. Either. It could just be that. You never know. E. Hon said, I'll use a Samsung G Track Pro for a mic. Works pretty well. Bit spendy. Yeah, at the minute, yeah, that and that bloody camera I showed you. That's the best I can do. But for action cam, that's the best microphone I've ever had for an action cam. You know, it's not good, but some of the action cameras I've had are fucking absolutely horrendous. That's quite a good mic on that one. Right, let's have a quick look how much this banner is. Ah, oh, same as the other one. There. I bet I've about fucking... Let's have a look. I'm just looking at my um, Patreon money quickly. Uh, yeah, no, there's nothing there, yeah. Yeah, good night, Rich. So, what's everyone's plans for tomorrow? Saturday, isn't it? I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. Probably do the the recap video for the shooting competition. Hopefully sort that out. Bought myself some darts for Christmas. So, I might have a bit of practice with them. I want to get back into darts again. I play darts every day. Got really good at one point. Good enough that I could have played in a team. You know, probably won money. But the last thing I want to do is be... If, if I got good enough, I would probably force myself into doing it. You know what I mean? Because it would be worth doing. You know, if you could win prize money. Single shot where I said, do English towns have a town drunk? Yeah, yeah. Oh, me and my brother would have been our local. That no, yeah, me and my brother and two other brothers would have been our um village drunks at one point. We would have been the young generation, and the other two would have been the old generation. <laughs> Liam said, "Work." No, they finally installed the new dishwasher. Nice. Tactical said, "No, things are alright. We have hundreds of them." You're right there. No, tactical's right. Yeah, we don't just have one uh, town drunk now. We have hundreds. Yeah. Ted said, Slingshot, to be honest, I don't think the armed police would have too much trouble dealing with someone speaking a foreign language and waving a sword around outside Parliament. And uh, but if he's come back from the grave, surely there would be a... <laughs> actually, I didn't get that joke, actually, then, um, Zed. Yes, I get your joke now, yeah. As we know, yeah. He'll probably do quite well. Say no more, say no more. Fred Norseman said, uh, maybe a narwhal weed and pole will take him. Exactly. Carlson in the woods again. We'll take the Kelly kettle this time. No, I've got one of them. Carl, they're good, aren't they? Must use mine more. Yeah. Put the old branches in the top of it, don't you? Do you ever cook on yours as well, Carl? I know it's, you know, using the kettle, but I think you can use it to cook as well, can't you? I was so hoping I was going to win that fucking Yugoslavian mess kit off of you that time, but it uh, wasn't my luck that time. I might buy one eventually. They look they look really good. You can get them off eBay, can't you, Carl? Pine cones are good, nice. T2 said, um, go and detect in tomorrow. Probably going to have... Be caked in mud and filled with drenched around here. Fred Norseman said, been so tempted lately to get fancy gas cook system for the woods. Just worried about cooking actual food in them, as they seem best for boiling water. 
<laughs> Liam said, thought you said a Hugo meth kit then. <laughs> That's right. No, I ain't getting that much into drinking again. Now, 13 quid, that's all right, I might get one. Because, yeah, I've seen you um, recommend them, Carl. I think they look excellent. Probably will. Because they're quite small as well, aren't they? So, any sort of Ted was laughing to tactical. Depends, Zed, if he comes back with great power and unable to kill. That's it. But, yeah. That joke nearly flew straight over my head, Zed, if it's a joke, I think it is. I know what you're getting at. Tap two said, what's this Kelly kettle that we're talking about, lol? It's, it's like a kettle with a hollow inside, and it has like a, a base with holes in it. You fill the kettle up, put it on the base, put sticks inside it, and then you light it like that. It's very quick to boil water. Dead says things, yeah, he was human, you know. Nothing supernatural about him. Bad Norseman said, got one of the wood burning stoves off of um yeah. Varesta Laika. Sixteen Euros or something, made in Finland. Will be interesting to try. Sounds good. Dad said I thought you'd guessed. <laughs> uh Carl said, yeah, very quick. Yeah, I I've I've got one. They're good, aren't they, Carl? Um but yeah, very quick to boil water. It's the point of them, isn't it? You know, they're very and sort of windproof almost. So any sorts of coming back from the dead, supernatural Zed. Gonna have to build that soon if you can see it. Where is it? Oh, it's over there. As I was saying, I have to build the fucking um. Still haven't built the Tomcat two crossbow yet. Red Norseman said they have a huge amount of great looking gear, cheap shipping too, lots of surplus. And so, oh, I've heard of them. I've heard of them a few times on Liam's streams. I think. I've never really known what it was though. What is it? Yeah, and that's the site. Yeah, I have heard of it. Yeah. That's it, you're right, Zed. He said the slingshot in the legends. He didn't actually die. He just went into a very long hibernation. Yeah, so he's asleep, really. He's more going to wake up than come back from the dead. Um, where was I? Finished all of their own brands, too. I oh, looked that up. I've heard of it quite a few times. <laughs> yeah, like a bear. Except just a bear with sword and armor. No, I like the King Arthur legends, so. I find them quite interesting. Partly because it's sort of related to the Dark Tower. In the Dark Tower, Roland is like his world's descendant of their King Arthur. But he think he I think he got his sword from going into a pyramid. It's never really stated, like you know, the story's quite vague for that. Arthur Eld. quiet tonight isn't it yeah i might i might probably buy that um order that second one tonight now i know that that looks good order that one hopefully i've done it right that it will fit that right as well i worked it out because that one is actually the same length as that one so i worked it out that if I put three of those on a banner that big, so you know, like one, like one, two, three, I should be at folding. It should be exactly that size because you can't get a banner that size. Yeah, Verus the Lyca, or however, however you describe it, tack is the, is the website. So I said, mind you, it'd probably take one look at the world today, say, fuck this, and go back to it. I, I don't, yeah, I think so. Then, things like this sounds interesting. But he'll have to have powers in order to take bar. The new base said, I'm playing uh, PUBG right now. Nice. I don't know if I've ever played that. Brad Norton said, yes. 
Yeah, I don't know. You just, I'll, you'd probably have to Google it. That website. Well, there you go. If it saves a bit of time. Done. Carl said, I think us Brits are a mix of Celts, Saxons, and Vikings. That's why we're not, not lost the war since 1066, exactly. Isn't it, Carl? Yeah. Tax would go wash your mouth out, Pete. Well, what did he say? Pete's in there. Is oh, there he is. Oh, he's playing PUBG right now, if that's so. Liam said he's literally just getting the leak. Hey, Lon said, so you can't show real or replica guns on YouTube stream. But pits are allowed. Oh, I don't know. The real rule is, Halon, that I can't handle a firearm. And the issue is I don't actually even own a firearm. But I don't trust YouTube enough that they won't suddenly say, oh, because it doesn't actually say that's the only things. It says these are just some examples. So there's nothing to say that they can't just say you can't even show them. It, all it says is here's five examples. These are just examples. So, you know, so just for my own my own safety, and because I want to carry on live streaming, basically, um, I'm going to cover them up. <laughs> and it also stops me picking them up, because I nearly went and picked one up a minute ago. Because the problem is I don't own firearms, but YouTube wouldn't know. So if I picked that up, how would they know that wasn't a firearm? You know what I mean, it's better than losing the whole channel, isn't it? Losing the, because one strike, and then I won't be at a live stream for six months. Or something like that. Dead Ted Slings or worry. He'd need he need Merlin for that. And he's going nowhere after Morgana Lafay finished with him. Um a nice one, Liam. Cheers for the links. Things that worry like a picture, Mike, knocking off a French girl, getting the news in the mail. For like to say. Hey Long said, yeah, best play it safe. Yeah, that's that's I'm gonna get I'm gonna get um a banner to cover this as well soon. Might order it after this stream. Um, things like said Merlin can give him his power and the spirit. I think so. That's it. I think someone already mentioned this, Mike. If you like the mythical Arthur, Arthur legends, you should watch Excalibur. I may have seen it. I may have seen it, but I've I've not definitely seen it. So yeah, I'll, I'll look into that. Slingshot said Merlin. I read that. T2 said Mike. Do I need a GoPro to set up my channel on YouTube? Not sure what's that. Uh, I wouldn't recommend getting a GoPro, really, if you can get something else. They're only good for... Like, I, I use a GoPro because it's the only camera I've got. But um, phones on your cameras are better than a GoPro. Um, any small camera would do. Yeah. It all depends. If you're using it just going out, if you want a waterproof camera to go out in like the woods, they're not bad for that, but they're not great either. Um, they've always got that weird fisheye effect as well. I don't know, teacher. I don't know what I could. I don't know what I could recommend you for a camera, but this one though is pretty good for what it is. So it's called the Ecken Alphawise V50 Pro. Can't see the right, and this won't focus on it. I doubt. Camera don't have an autofocus. Prep for it, you're right, mate. Dad said Morgana stripped him of his powers. That's how she trapped him. Tax said Celts were picks and spoke Gaelic, uh, like Welsh, Irish, and Scots. Fred Northman said, Sin the show, The Adventure of Sinbad. That was one of my favourite shows, and I'm re watching it now. So I'm not would not be received well in today's multicultural world. <laughs> I think I have seen that. That said, is it only firearms that can't be touched? No, it's just it's just firearms. I could have a knife. I could have a, It's only firearms. So, yeah, I, I could get that down if I wanted to, or any of them knives or crossbows. But yeah. That's the thing. Um, and I don't – technically, I don't even own a firearm. But, uh, yeah, I don't trust the bastards. Carl said, I use my mobile phone. I'm not a big YouTuber. I use my mobile. That's what I use, Carl. My mobile and that. You know, I ain't a big one either, but you know what I mean? But, um, 
you'd think I would have a bit of a better setup, but <laughs> I'll just try to get away with it. <laughs> Prepared Norseman said, what will you be filming, T2? If you intend to be in front of a camera, a screen you can turn around would be great help. That said, T2, phones are good as you can upload straight to YouTube from your phone. Yeah, that's a good idea, Tactical, actually. Yeah, both of you. But yeah, it is handy to be able to see what you're recording. Dead said tactical. If you're one talking about Helen Mirren, one, she's a bit um, she's a bit old for that now, mind you. She was fit as fuck when she was in that film. D two I want to start a new metal detecting channel. Um, these are good for outside if you get one of the good microphone. Some of them are absolutely terrible, and you can't literally can't hear fucking nothing. Um, this has got a very good microphone on it for what it is. Quite cheap as well, less than 100 quid. Can't remember how much it was, but it wasn't a lot. 4K as well, but I don't ever use 4K. Pointless. Um, but yeah, phone. Um, I don't know. I, I wouldn't want to recommend a GoPro. If you want to talk to the camera, you know what I mean, if you're if you're just going through showing stuff, I'm not really talking to the camera. Um, but yeah, I I have to use that because that's all I've got. Carl said I do have to edit on a PC. Yeah, I do all my editing on a PC, Carl. It's easier, isn't it? That was at the Z, yeah. When when she was young, I would need a drink or two for her. That's her thing, but maybe. But if Avalon is where they say it is, Glast Glastonbury, I have my doubts. Uh, when her lake is long gone, until she be, obviously. Come on, Zed, you're spoiling it all for us now. <laughs> I'm getting my fucking hopes up there. Zed's just dashed all my dreams of uh, King Arthur coming back. Red Norseman said to T2, if you strap it on your head, an action camera... An external microphone would be nice. The GoPro has an app where you can see what you're filming. Yeah, uh, yeah. If they're a Wi-Fi one, that that does that as well. If you've got a Wi-Fi camera, you can see it on your phone. But yeah, my only issue is the microphones can be terrible on them. Apart from that one, that's got a really good microphone on it. Saying so he's still got hope, Zed. He said maybe it's a different lake. Maybe she's moved. Maybe she's moved to a different lake. You don't know. Avalon might be able to move. I got that um, once upon a time in Hollywood on DVD. I don't had a chance to watch it yet. Um, but yeah, I don't know, teacher. I don't know what to say, really. Um, it depends how much right, GoPros aren't suited for talking, really. That That's the, the only real issue for them. If you want to talk about something while you're doing it, they're not very good for that. If it's just for strapping on something and looking at things and showing things, they, they are good for that and cheap. Um, but you can get like handheld cameras, I can't what they're called now, but like little, like, you know, like a phone, but it's just a camera, like a, a phone size thing. I can't remember what they're called now. I had a couple. You can get, you know, reasonably cheap. Fuck are they called? I can't remember now. But it's a thing about the size of a phone, but it's just a camera. And it's a similar shape to that as well. Carl said, good night, peeps. I'm out in the woods again tomorrow. Good night, Carl. Good to see you on, mate. I'll be on again tomorrow if you're on, about the same time. Yeah. Good night, Carl. See you later, mate. Uh, Zed said, I've been to Glastonbury, not the music festival. It's a tourist trap now for gullible yanks. <laughs> Price tap. That's it, Will. Yeah, I couldn't think of the name of them, but yeah. There is like a dedicated name for those sort of, yeah, point and shoot cameras, yeah. Oh, yeah, or like a normal, yeah, like a little, yeah, I get what you mean, yeah. <clears throat> That's it, yeah, I think you're right. Where was I? 
The tour is interesting, though. It's one of the gateways to the Celtic version of hell. The Celtic version of the Wild Hunt, where it's supposed to come out of it. A Dark Knight collects up. That sounds interesting. I've always wanted to go to Glastonbury for the, um, you know, the touristy element of it rather than, um, you know, festival show. Where am I? Red Northwood, I'm off to. Need some rest. Don't need to shoot myself in the foot hunting birds tomorrow. Good night, mate. Yeah, hope you have a good shoot tomorrow. Yeah, like, uh, what happens? I've said, um, also near Wells where they filmed Hot Fast. Did not know that. Seeing Shot Warrior said, I'm sorry, I'm too tired to do a dovetail. All right, mate. Well, I'll see you on there sometime. Remind me. Bing, all right, mate. He said, I haven't been, I haven't had a chance to watch your 2020 on back video yet. It ain't nothing special, mate. It's nothing special. Yeah, hello. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. <laughs> Red Norseman. Yeah, see you later, mate. Tax said, I'm not going to lie. I would love to go to Glassman for five days of madness. I'm not massively into music, in all honesty. Not like, you know, I've been invited to go to, you know, like, go watch like my favorite fucking um, bands and I've got literally no interest. I'm standing in a field that don't do nothing for me. Tactical said, fuck sake, freaked out. Earplug fell out on the floor. But shot forward in a straight line. Like a torpedo. Weird. That's strange. Pressure build up from your ear. Bing says, still waiting on the x-ray results. Two weeks. I had x-ray and had to drink a weird dye. And she was like, sorry, I forgot about that, Bing. Yeah. I hope you're all right. I don't know if you want to talk about it more, but yeah. But yeah. <sighs> Can't quiet again. Weird when it does that. So yeah, I don't know what I'll do. I'll definitely have a video on tomorrow. I'm going to be back to normal now. I'll probably put a video on tomorrow. I'll probably have a day off Sunday. Um, but there'll definitely be a video on tomorrow. Tax said, no need to like music. Went to tea in the park for a few years. Um, yeah, for a few years. And you could hang about campsite. Hey, I'll tell you what, Tack, that actually sounds great to me. That's, I love that kind of stuff. So, yeah, yeah. I never really thought about it too much, but yeah, just sitting around with people having a drink. Yeah, that sounds good. T2 said, I recorded a documentary called Bigfoot Capture. Has anyone seen it? Uh, if so, is it worth watching? I've never heard of it. Sadly. Prep for it said, I think I talked about it before, but in the warmer weather, you should make an atlat or test it. <laughs> that will happen one day. Um, prep for it. That will happen one day. I'll tell you what, in do that in when it gets to like the um summer, remind me and I'll I'll do one. Just if I do a what you want to do, look when I do a um you've probably already done it. It's on my list though to make an out I just didn't got around to it yet. Keep mentioning it basically. <laughs> Tactical said fast as fuck too. Fell from a shelf uh behind me, which should have hit me before the floor. Weird. Dead said Arthur's grave, which is supposed to be there, is a load of bollocks, though. It was rather conveniently found, just as Henry Gay for stealing monetary land. Yeah, that way. <laughs> that, too, said, honestly, nothing better than running around drinking practically 24 hours a day and shut it down, so that's a shame. Yeah, that sounds good to me. I never really thought about it in that way. Carolon, right, mate? Yeah, good to see you, too, as well. Nice to have you on. Bing said, be making a start on video soon. I think the first one I'll do is a bug out camping bag and some knives and tools. I'll be doing some camping videos in the spring and summer. Nice one, Bing. Look forward to that. Tactical said, um, bike rallies. Better for that than Mike. Great fun. Feels for the great people. I, I, there's nothing better than sitting with people you like and um, sitting around a fire and having a drink. But I don't get to do it very often. Get to have a drink, but the sitting around in a fire is lovely, I think. Something about it. 
Brinson, maybe some videos when I go to the woods for the day as well. Nice one, mate. Come quiet again. Right, I'll be off about another 20 minutes, by the way. <clears throat> I don't know what I'm going to do tonight. What happened now? He was on once. Are you still on now or are you falling asleep? Ah, oh, she's still on. Just check him. If you do the at thing and start typing her name, it comes up. There I want. Tim said, I've been to Glastonbury Festival back in 2004. Something everyone should experience. Also done the Reading Festival 2017. Tack is right. Just walking around the camping areas is so funny. That does sound good to me. I'd never really thought about it in that way. Yeah, I suppose it would be a good experience. I, I've never really thought about it till now. Yeah. But when you put it like that, yeah, it does sound good. Bing said, yeah, you did one about five months ago with your brother, I think, or your mate. That is it. Yeah. I'm going to get back out as well, Bing. <laughs> that was a make sure you press record, Bing. Well, I didn't <laughs> record today. There's nothing fucking worse than that. Quite often, think when I when I record myself on my phone, I can't see it. I do halfway through the fucking ten minute video. Start thinking, I hope I fucking press record. <laughs> Luckily, I always had. Then said so the fire thing probably is in our genes. I think so as well from pre prehistoric times. Fire was not just for warmth or cooking; it provided safety from the nasty creatures that wanted to eat you. I hundred percent agree with you there, Dad. I think it is a thing like that. Because I've never, I've never known a single person who, when they sit looking at a fire, doesn't say they, they enjoy it. Yeah, it's very relaxing. I don't know what it is, but you're right. I think it is that. I think it is a prehistoric caveman instinct thing in us. You know, fire is a very comforting thing. Yeah, you know, not just even, you know any sort of open fire. The noise, of, you know, there's a lot of sort of comforting noise. Things about it, isn't there? Tax to Tim. Seeing people at their craziness is brilliant. I've been there all weekend. Uh, went to see two acts after paying a fortune. The company was priceless. Bo Crowds, you right, mate? You right, Bo? Good to see you on, mate. Yeah. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, mate. That's good to see you on. <coughs> That said, I'd be surprised you the amount of people that don't have a clue how to set up fire. Ah, exactly. It does surprise you. Well, it does surprise you, and it sort of don't at the same time. Being said, I'll have to have a few attempts myself first. I don't sound weird or swear too much. I have an awful habit. Uh, when I can't think, I'll swear. And I remember, like I said. That said, I swear I pressed it. I'd waddle in the woods. Felt the right prick with selfie stick as well. A few people passed me. Yeah, I turn it off when I see people with a selfie stick. You know, me with a selfie stick. I turn the fucking thing off. Can't I can't do videos in front of people. That's a deed there is. Unless it's your house that's burning. Exactly. Exactly. So I was thinking. What you think? You're a burn victim or something. You know what I mean? Then yeah, they probably don't like the fucking burning. UK exposed, right, mate? He said, a lot of us subscribers should gather and chill around Campfire Mike in summer. You choose a location. <laughs> that gets mentioned all the time. Well, we'll see about that. I'll have to try and sort it out one day. It'll be good, though, I think. Yeah. Tim said to Tack, exactly. Even if there are, even if they're for the music, parties are all night long once the stage closes. Such a mix of a lot of people, too. The atmosphere is always amazing. Yeah, you know what? I'd never, ever thought about it in that way. But now you describe it like that. It sounds really good. Um, where am I? T2. So does anything supernatural ever happen to you? Not that I think it is. No. I've had what, to me at the time, appeared like a shadow run out of the room and run at me. Enough to sort of make me go, oh, fucking hell, like that. I actually thought someone was running at me and it disappeared, but I think that was just my mind playing tricks on me. Too much booze and drugs when I was younger. But, you know, 
Some people say that's supernatural. I, I don't think it was. Um, e Honda said a campfire gathering would be a bit of a dry for me. <laughs> that's like, yeah, sadly it would. E Honda said, uh, but you should come to Colorado sometime and I'll show you a little Colorado hospitality. Thank you, mate. I appreciate that. If I'm ever over there, I definitely will. Tactical said to T2, yeah. I was on about it before. I have a video with a voice saying my name. And I was on my own, shot out of the house on that one. Oh, hang on, yeah. I have a video with a voice saying my name. And I was on my own. Yeah, that's quite fucking creepy. Tax said to Zed, houses are easy to start fires in. The outdoors are the only places for fires. Yeah, exactly. Got to get in the stage where I can hardly fucking read. I've got to lean forward every time. All right, then. Quiet again. Now, Dad, Stonehenge Festival used to be great and free back in the day. Had a fantastic sort of feeling to it. Something to do with the stones, maybe. You know, no, maybe it does. I went to Stonehenge a couple of years ago. Yeah, you can only get so close to them, but you can get reasonably close. You know, you just can't touch them anymore. But um, it was close enough. It makes me laugh. Who's ever watched um, right? Some of you lot will know about Serene Madness. He's in hospital at the minute, American bloke. Um, he told a really good story that he came over to um, the UK once, and, and I think he did like a student exchange thing or something like that. And he got to go to Stonehenge. While he was there, he actually um, got a knife and actually picked a bit of the stone off, <laughs> took it over with him. Yeah, that was in the days when you could get to it, though. Bing said, anything new you got for Christmas, Mike? Don't show it, though, if, you, if it's guns. Yeah, only only stuff like um, DVDs and books, really. I didn't get no weapons. I don't tend to get weapons for birthdays and Christmas because I, they know I've got everything I sort of want in that regard. Just DVDs, really. DVDs and games. Bang. That's not all of them. The others are down there. A pair of hair clippers. Some DVDs and games and books. Bang it, really. I've got everything I asked for, which is good. You know what I mean? I don't, get, I don't tend to get a lot of weapons. As I say, because, you know... Tactical, post a video on it and just do the swearing, it don't matter. Zed said, and that's why you can't get close to them anymore. Yeah, exactly. It's a funny video, though. If you watch his video, he describes it. Yeah, because he's, he's in a wheelchair as well at the time. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he managed to get a bit of a stone and take it home. Yeah. That dude's stealing stone ends. Shall be cursed forever. He did say if he could, he would send it back as well. He did say that. <laughs> it's a good video. I wish I knew I would link it if I could find it because it was funny as fuck listening to it. This was like years ago when he did this video. Um, yeah, just made me laugh. You lot will have to ask him about it. Some of the ones who go on Serene Madness's um, videos, go and ask him to tell you the Stone End story. He's, he's a bit bored at the minute and wants to sort of tell stories anyway, I think. So you're getting to tell you the Stonehenge story. That, because they're low, my, yeah, from my old phone years ago, probably only 120p. You should, I've still got some, I've got some videos on here. Look up my oldest videos on here, the ones that was actually done by a video recorder. Fucking hell, they're horrendous. A bad quality there. They're, they're unwashable. Yeah, they're still on there. Don't say to tap. Be careful. Strange thing happened to people who disrespect ancient stone circles. Bob, the metal guy, said, Mike, I fired the missus today. She only made me some eggs <laughs> for breakfast. Fuck's sake. Yeah, that's better than some people get, Bob. <laughs> Fuck yeah. But yes, I don't blame you. 
At least you're the ones who's got to make the eggs. Right, I'll be on for another 10 minutes because I came on late. So I'll do the full two hours. It's one hour 50 uh, at the minute. Yeah, it's been a good stream. It's a bit of a strange one, but they're always quite weird anyway. It just feels weird because I haven't been on for so long. Um, Ted said, have you ever been to Aysbury, Mike? That's a really fascinating place. Um, biggest standing stones in the world. Still standing in it. No, I've never been there, no. No, maybe I'll have to go one day. That's good. Yeah, I could paid a lot of money for camcorder years ago. Yeah, <laughs> six four one oh four eight SD one, yeah. Free to a good home. Yeah, some of my old videos are oh, hilarious watching them back. I'm surprised YouTube lets them still be on there. But the fucking square on the thing, and they're so blurry. You can't see fucking anything. But that was like that was good quality in them days. T2 is a tactical. Me and the missus watched a woman disappear in front of our eyes at a hotel called the Wild Boar in Cheshire. Not a good experience. That's bizarre, isn't it? But I don't think I've ever seen anything that I think was definitely supernatural, personally. But that shadow thing was scary at the time. But then I just said to myself, ah, it must just been your fucking um, mental case mind playing tricks on you. And then that's enough for me. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's it. Well, as I say, the bath is cold and still is warm. Catch you later. See you later, Tack. Good night, mate. Have a good evening, whatever you're doing. Tactical set. Fuck me, T2. I'd be out of there in a shot. Yeah. I would. That's what I mean. Just convince yourself it wasn't. Thing is, if I thought it really was things that I wouldn't be able to live in this house. You know what I mean? <laughs> But my neighbours next door, they swear to God, they're ghosts there. Um, that do so. Well, I don't know. You should do a new video on the Fairbairn sites. That's a blurry number. Lol. Yeah, I've, I will. I think I will do, actually. Yeah. I'll get that down and I'll do a video on that. See you later, chat. There's loads of videos. I'll, I'll have to redo quite a few of them, I think. Tactical said, seen a red orb coming towards me. Um, in a what one night? Three of us saw it, looked like a swinging lantern. Yeah, that's weird. But I'd say it's pretty impressive. There's a Neolithic burial mound nearby you can go inside of. It's Silsbury Hill, it's part of the Avebury complex. Well, right, I'm gonna look that up quickly, Zed. Oh, uh, nice. Yeah, that does look um, yeah, very interesting. In the great big fucking burial mound. Is that what you can go in? Yeah, never been there. That does look good, though. Oh, I'm just looking on Google um, images there. Oh, cemetery. Yeah. Crop circles, never seen crop circles. Not in real life, you know what I mean? I've seen pictures of them. Gas mask. Hello, gas mask, by the way, how are you? <laughs> yeah, tactical, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> Panks on strings. What's the rods then? I don't know that one. Um, proved to be insects. I may know what you mean, I'm not sure. Zed said, yeah, took a mate there once. He hid in one of the chambers and jumped out frightened me. He's got a work in the cemetery. 
<laughs> fuck's sake. <laughs> fuck's sake, man. Well, so last week I woke up with crop circles going to my hair on the back. Fuck's sake. That wasn't why you was away, was it? <laughs> One of your relatives and cutting your hair in your sleep. Yeah, I've never been there. That so does look interesting, though. Next time I'll go somewhere, maybe we'll look into that, depending on how close it is. Bington, have you seen the newest crossbow that Cold Steel will have? Uh, yeah, the, um, what's it called? The, um, can't remember that thing, but yeah, I have seen that, yeah. What's the kind of price on them? They're quite dear, aren't they? I think for what they are. Um, but I have seen them. I can't what they call it now. That was they thought they were paranormal digi cams at the time. Couldn't record them properly. They looked like a long cylinder creatures. Ah, oh, right. I did not know that. Oh, them little things that shoot across like like orbs. Do you mean? Yeah. It's just because the cameras couldn't pick them up. I think I know what you mean. Thank you for tactical. The duty manager came out and collected the glasses on his tray. Said what happened. Said to me, is it okay? One of the residents ghosts. That was not good enough. Fucking hell. <laughs> Cheap shot, I think. It, yeah, that's it. That's it, Bing. That's it. Cocks like that, don't it? Underneath. Looks good, looks good, but expensive, I think. That's I've seen a few crop circles. If they did those with a barrel, a plank, and some rope in the dark night, I'd like to see them do it. And that is it, is it tactical? Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, like the orb things, but they'd be shoot across the camera, wouldn't they? And yeah, it's just the cameras just couldn't pick it up properly, ain't it? I know what you mean. Because I always, I always said I thought they was insects. It's just the cameras just can't pick it up properly going too fast <laughs> what's the time it's probably too late for a film now so what i'm going to do tonight what's load of videos that people have asked me to watch i suppose yeah i'm going to go off in a minute it's been a good one tonight. a bit of a strange one a bit of a quiet one at times but that doesn't really matter this shit's down to me to fill in the voids in it. But I've lost my practice. <laughs> that's exactly it, tactical. Isn't it? Yeah, shutter speed was crap at the time. That's it. That's all it is. But you know, um, yeah. So I'll be back on tomorrow. But tomorrow in the day, I'll upload a video. I don't know what. Maybe, I don't know, maybe like the recap for the shooting competition. Just to sort of say thank you to everyone for joining in. Um, and then I'll live stream in the evening, as long as I'm not doing anything. I don't think I am. Should be back to like doing nothing again now. You know, and then maybe every couple of weeks going out. i glad to get back to that. I don't, I don't like drinking every fucking week. Dug my head in. <laughs> Yeah, see you later, Tim. Um, see you later, Tactical. See you later, Zed. Ah, oh, John's only just come on. Just going off, John, sadly. I'll have a look up the Avery stuff, definitely. Um, but avoid the cat. It's a rip off. All right, Zed. Yeah, I'm going to have to be quiet. People get to bed. <laughs> yeah, see you later, Bing. See you later, mate. Um, yeah, so I'll see you all tomorrow. 
That's been a good one. I'll order that that now, I think. Nice one, John. Send me a picture. Send me a picture and I'll have a look. All right. Thank you, everyone. I appreciate it. It's been a really good stream. Good night, and I'll see you tomorrow.